start with the tool side placed in the tool stand. The master side should be approximately six inches above the tool side. If using the 3D printed version of the T-Jade, then it does not matter if the master side is locked or unlocked. Orient the A-flat of the tool side T-Jade to correspond to the A-flat of the tool changer tool plate. The tool side T-Jade contains two locating bosses. The tool changer tool plate contains two alignment bushings. Mount the tool side T-Jade to the tool changer tool plate by inserting these bosses into the alignment bushings of the tool changer tool plate. Magnets in the body of the tool side T-Jade will secure it to the tool changer tool plate. The master side T-Jade contains two holes for the two alignment pins on the tool changer master plate. Mount the master side T-Jade to the tool changer master plate by inserting the alignment pins of the master plate into the holes of the master side T-Jade. Magnets in the body of the master side T-Jade will secure it to the tool changer master plate. Slowly move the master side T-Jade toward the tool side T-Jade until the teaching aids are approximately one millimeter apart. The mating faces and alignment marks on the body of each T-Jade can be used to correct any lateral or angular misalignment. When the alignment marks of the teach aids match, the teach aids are correctly aligned. You can also use the edge of the teaching aid for alignment and feeler gauges to judge angular alignment. Record the robot coordinates. Move the master teach aid away from the tool teach aid. To account for the thickness of the tool and master side teaching aids, a correction must be calculated so that the pickup and replacement coordinates are correct. Refer to the sticker on your teach aid, the product manual, or drawing for the applicable value to calculate the correction. Remove the teaching aid from each half of the tool changer and verify the tool pick program.